Kaselelie and I bring warm greetings from the Federated States of Micronesia. People of Nauru, at the forefront, I wish to extend to you peace, friendship, cooperation, and love in our common humanity. As fellow Micronesians, we are brothers and sisters. Today, we solemnly remember the traumatic experience of World War II. It began on December 6, 1940, when a German raider sank four ships near Europe, Pleasant Island, and the next day, the Germans shelled Nauru's phosphate mining areas, including the oil storage Tibo and the cantilever. While the Japanese Empire claimed an imperial mandate on the Federated States of Micronesia from the former League of Nations, the people of Nauru found themselves occupied by the Japanese in August 1942. What followed was both traumatic and tragic. Records show that there were 6,000 Nauruans by June 1943, and by June 30th of that year, 1,200 of them were taken from their families to work in Chuk. Tragically, whether one chooses to call the 1,200 displaced Nauruans as indentured servants or slaves, like their newly met Chukis friends on islands like Weno and Tenoas, the effect was to be divorced from home and divorced from freedom. With the Americans liberating Pone Bay on September 11, 1945, it was the Australians who arrived to Nauru on September 13, making the island free from Japanese rule. At the end of World War II, arrangements were made to repatriate the 737 Nauruans who survived Japanese captivity and slavery in Chuk. Tragically, 463 Nauruans did not survive to make the journey home to their families. Today, July 10, 2021, we recognize the 75th anniversary of Nauruan men and women returning from Chuk, Federated States of Micronesia, and celebrate the opening of the World War II memorial site. Let it stand to remind each and every one of us of the mistakes and horrors of the past so that we can be energized with the courage and conviction to ensure they never happen again. The bonds between the people of Nauru, the Pleasant Island, and the people of the Federated States of Micronesia, whether we come from Yap, Chuk, Ponbe, or Koshai, are enduring. In a literal sense, His Excellency Lionel Aingemea and I are family, as his late elder brother was married to my elder sister. And in the metaphorical sense, I appeal to you all that each and every one of you will always be welcome in the Federated States of Micronesia as brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you. God bless the Federated States of Micronesia. And God bless the Republic of Nauru and its people. Thank you and kalangan.